Here it is, the long-awaited voice assistant update. Okay, let's get right into it. I mean, I'm just finishing up. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and release it because everything's looking pretty good. Um, and I'll continue to work through the night tomorrow to wrap everything up as, as far as like custom functions and everything like that. Okay, new voice assistants. All right, when you go here, um, this is going to be U.S. only because it's going to require a U.S. phone number through Twilio, which we will have. I'll show you in the phone number tab. Let's make this really, really quick. So uh, if you want to inbound, outbound assistant, this is the one that's going to have its own phone number, have all the new cool stuff. That's going to be there. If you're international, I'm sorry. Right now I'm trying to work on some international Twilio stuff. But until then, you will be able to use the transient model, and I'll be able to, you know, be able to beef that up, up to the standard that this one is on uh, as I continue to work through it. So just go here, um, do your compliance, and then you will see a new voice assistant pop up. You'll, you'll know that you'll see connect a phone number to continue rather than connect a knowledge base to continue like normal with the other voice assistants. Now, before we get into this, um, after you create that, you'll go here to phone numbers and you will see you'll be able to get phone numbers. I have limited everyone's sub account to one manually. You can change that in your admin dashboard because it does charge $2.50 for the phone number per month, okay? And I don't want your clients to go in there and just start buying up phone numbers and then all of a sudden you're getting charged like crazy, uh, especially right before, here before rebilling is gonna get pushed. So I just went ahead and just Set the limit to one, but you can change it in your admin dashboard. Just go to advanced settings and then raise your limit as many phone numbers as you want. There's no limit. Um, you will get a Stripe subscription um, for the ones that's on there. But I figured for the ones who have larger deployments, I went ahead and just set it at one. You're good to go. But you go here. Um, you will select your new assistant. You need to select the assistant um, so that we can match the model IDs to the phone number. Um, and you can change that later. But Create your system first and come to phone numbers. Click here, put in your desired area code, and then get your phone number. Here's mine right here. And I have it connected to this assistant here. You can see I can connect it to others. I can update that right there and I can delete it, which will cancel the subscription. All the fun stuff has been done for you here. Okay, let's move on. Okay, uh, new voice assistant. So it's gonna look a little overwhelming at first, but I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, it's super, super easy, okay? Everything's templated for you. So example, you have your personality prompt rather than putting in all the name and all the granular stuff. This will be filled out for you. Just, you know, put your, your name and your company name. You just got to fill out some stuff. Not super hard. Okay. Ambient noise. We have coffee shop, convention hall, summer outdoor, mountain outdoor, static noise. You can put ambient noise in the background of the call. Makes the call seem super, super realistic. Okay. Here's all the voices that you have on V3. Plenty of voices from all the providers, OpenAI, DeepGram, 11 labs, any voice that you want, uh, multiple accents included are going to be in there for you. Okay. All the, the languages here, French, Japanese, Portu Portuguese, Spanish, German, English, uh, English with different dialect, that's all gonna be in there for you. Here is some things that you can adjust, so responsiveness, how fast it is, interruption sensitivity, how uh, persistent it is in talking before the, you know, the human interrupts it, voice speed, voice temperature, tons of stuff here, back channeling. So while I talk, the assistant will go, uh-huh, yeah, sure, okay. Acknowledging that it's listening to me. You can go GPT-4 Turbo, GPT-3 Turbo, okay? And then for some greeting rules, so the introduction message to the conversation, right? Okay, um, you can do contact initiates, which when you call it, the AI is not gonna say anything to the person says hello. Um, you can also do the AI initiates with a dynamic message where the AI will say something when the phone is picked up, they will generate the message, or you can do define message where um, you will be able to put in your own message here. I keep mine on dynamic, okay? Easy enough here. And if you need HIPAA, anything right here, turn this on. We won't record anything. You'll be good to go. Okay, Flow Builder. So let me preface this, okay? If you are not, um, I guess I would call super user of AI, right? You do not need to do this. This is not required. This is just for people who want to get really, really granular in the way that they manage their AI, okay? You do not need to do this. This is just for people who want to continue to build onto their stuff, okay? But all you gotta do is you add stages here. You can put smaller prompts. You can interject prompts based on what you're doing here. And it allows you to get really granular on each step, okay? Um, again, not required. In fact, if you're not a super builder, you're not super into AI, don't even worry about it. Just use this one, okay? You should be fine. Now, integrations. So, post-call webhook, finishing up. All right, that'll be sent to wherever you tell me to send it to. You will get uh, some call disposition, things like that. So you can do some uh, post-call workflows, do some follow-up, things like that, right? Our calendars here, you pick your calendar, all right? Whatever calendar you wanna use for booking, then you have some functions here, okay? So we have some out of the box for you. So check calendar times, calendar booking to your high-level calendar. Uh, same thing for checking, call transfer, in-call, and then we have custom functions. Custom functions are gonna be so fun. I'm not even gonna show you that right now. 
That's going to be later, okay? All right, so we have all this stuff. Pre-populates right here, and then you can adjust the speech. So while it's doing these things, while it's checking the availability on the calendar, you can adjust what it says. Same thing for booking an appointment. While it's booking the appointment, you can adjust what it says to narrow down the latency, right? Transfer call, you can put any transfer number you want. It's going to go ahead and default to the sub-account number, but you can add whichever one you want there, all right? End call, same thing. You can give a description of when you want it to end the call. You can give a description of when you want it to transfer the call. And you can also call these as variables in your prompt. We'll get into that stuff later, okay? That's pretty much it, all right? So we have a couple things that we can reference here in the prompts, which is contact first name, all right? Assistant ID, things like that. I'll have more. I'll have a list for you. Um, but I figured we'd get this out and have some fun with it, okay? Same thing with Flow Builder. You can reference contact first name, these different variables throughout, and you can also reference the different states, right? So the uh, appointment booking, I can reference that here, all right? And then uh, I can reference the function name and I can also reference variables. Easy enough, right? So let's go ahead and save this. Perfect, awesome. Now, nothing you need to do to the Go High Level workflow that's native to uh, what we had before. Just grab the assistant ID, throw it into the workflow action like before. There you go, right here. Boom, put in the assistant ID. You don't need an intro message, it's gonna be dynamic. So um, you can just leave that blank right there because I, I think it's a required field. So just let's put a little dash right there, a space something. Uh, a dash is probably preferred. Let's put a dash, you'll be fine, all right? So let's go back here. I'm trying to make this quick. I didn't want it to be too long uh, of, a, of a video. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over here to my contact, right? And then I'm going to Go enroll myself in the calling workflow. And we're going to try this out. I, I just built mine, so I don't know how well it's going to work. I have no clue. We're going in blind here. Um, so let's do outbound call. Let's go ahead and add myself to outbound call. Perfect. I should be getting added to the outbound call now. Now it's going to call me from the number that I have selected, as you can see here. Let's go ahead and talk with it. Hello? Hi, this is Haley from South Bay Dental. May I speak with Cindy, please? This is Cindy. Great, thanks for confirming, Cindy. I need to inform you that we have to reschedule your cleaning session due to a scheduling conflict with Dr. Lee. Is it okay if we find another time for your appointment? Yeah, sure. One second while I check our calendar. I've got a few options for you. How about next Monday at 11.45 a.m. or 12.15 p.m.? Would either of those times work for you? You have uh, 12.15? Let me block that time off for you. One second. Your appointment has been successfully rescheduled to next Monday at 12.15 p.m. Do you have any other questions, or is there anything else I can assist you with today? Nope, that's good. Great. If you need anything else in the future, feel free to give us a call. Have a wonderful day, Cindy. All right. Bye. So yeah, easy enough. Look how easy that was. Okay, um, and it said Cindy because I, I literally just put in a base prompt. It's it's literally I, I template. I tried to template everything for you, so that, you know the templates have Cindy in them. So you're just gonna have to fix that. Uh, but even when you add stage, if I add a stage, you'll see it, it. It has templates. So I've tried to template everything right here for everybody. Right. So if I just do state name here, and we'll say go to this one. It's our condition for going to this one. Whatever there, you'll see that it's templated for you right there, okay? And then you just go in here and you change it up. I didn't change it up, <laughs> but you, you got this all. So, uh, you see some of the capabilities there. Now, chat. Chat has gotten some great upgrades. So let's go here. I'm going to ask it to do quite a complex thing and see how fast it can do it. So I'm going to go to my chat here. Let's go to chat. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just drop my message queuing to zero. I don't want any message queuing here for a test, all right? And then I'm going to come here. I'm going to go to my contact. And what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to say, hey, look, can you um, make a note about getting me a lifetime deal? Can you make a task for the team to check my message limits and then also send me an email so that I can remember everything? So I'm going to literally send that right now. Um, and hopefully I have my assistant tag on me. Let's see. I don't even know. Okay, I do. Perfect. All right. So we're in here now. I just sent the message. Just was received. Perfect. We had the assistant on it. Um, you can see the latency is um, lightning fast now, especially when completing these tasks. So I've asked it to do three tasks, which is email me, create a note in the CRM, 
and then also create a task for the users in the CRM. Look at that, boom, I got my email, I got my task, all right, I got my note, I just got the email right here. Perfect, look at that, I got the email showing right here, and here is the email inside of my Gmail there, okay? Boom, reply. Look how quick that was, all right? Let's see, uh, I can't really tell there. 30 seconds, send, create a note, send an email, create a task, send me a reply, and the email, all in 30 seconds, one assistant, how easy was that? That's the update, all right? A lot of cool stuff coming. Vector storage, I could go over it all day, all right? I don't want to take up too much of your time. Voice assistants are now open, okay? Get your voice assistant, get your phone number, go in there and play. Let me know if anything's going on. It's going to go on, all right? It's brand new, but I'll be standing by and continuously making changes as we go through. You got to see the new chat latency is absolutely insane. You got to see the voice latency absolutely insane booking appointments left and right okay a lot of cool stuff go play with it i'm really really excited happy friday